volcano. It can literally tear the guts out of the United States of America. Yellowstone National Park, known for its stunning natural beauty and geothermal wonders, has recently become a subject of intense scientific scrutiny due to a series of startling discoveries. Beneath the serene landscapes and bubbling geysers lies a hidden world of potential catastrophe that has shocked researchers and ignited discussions about the unpredictable power of nature. Today, we are going to delve into the unfolding story of Yellowstone's mysteries and the recent findings that have left scientists both intrigued and concerned. From the possibility of a cataclysmic eruption to the curious case of ancient helium gas, we explore the facts, theories, and implications that have captivated the scientific community and the public alike. Yellowstone National Park is home to one of the most powerful natural phenomena on Earth, a supervolcano. This geological giant lies dormant beneath the park's picturesque landscapes, concealing a potentially cataclysmic force that could reshape the entire region and even have global repercussions. Supervolcanoes are distinguished by their immense eruptions, capable of spewing ash and debris on an unprecedented scale. Unlike conventional volcanoes, which erupt more frequently and on a smaller scale, supervolcanoes have the potential to unleash devastation of a magnitude that is difficult to comprehend. The eruption of a supervolcano releases a colossal amount of material into the atmosphere, leading to a chain reaction of catastrophic events. As molten magma surges through the surface, earthquakes and tremors shake the ground, providing early warning signs of an impending eruption. Seismometers, specialized devices that monitor ground movement, become crucial tools in tracking this activity. Recent developments have taken the Yellowstone mystery to a new level, leaving scientists perplexed and intrigued. The discovery of ancient helium gas trapped beneath the Earth's surface has raised concerns about the potential for a violent eruption. Helium, often associated with party balloons, takes on a different significance in the context of Yellowstone. It serves as a crucial clue, indicating the presence of a reservoir of magma that has been building up for millions of years. This finding has ignited a fervor of scientific discussion and debate. Could this ancient helium gas be a harbinger of an impending volcanic eruption? The possibility is both exciting and terrifying as scientists grapple with the implications of this discovery. But to fully comprehend the significance of the helium discovery, we must delve deeper into the intricacies of the geological processes occurring beneath the park's surface. Understanding the potential for a catastrophic eruption requires constant vigilance and monitoring of the park's seismic activity. As magma moves beneath the Earth's crust, it creates seismic waves that can be detected and analyzed. This data offers crucial insights into the behavior of the supervolcano and whether an eruption could be imminent. Seismometers strategically placed around the park continuously record ground movements, allowing scientists to identify patterns and anomalies. These devices play a vital role in deciphering the subterranean activity that could signal a dramatic event in the making. Seismic activity serves as a window into the complex world beneath Yellowstone, providing critical information that guides scientific research and decision-making. While seismic activity offers valuable clues, changes in gas emissions provide another layer of insight into the volcano's behavior. As magma rises towards the surface, it releases gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. These gases can accumulate in the atmosphere, altering its composition and providing a tangible signal of the volcanic processes underway. Specialized gas sensors are used to detect and analyze these emissions. By studying the composition and concentration of gases, scientists can infer the movements of magma and the pressure building within the Earth's crust. Sudden shifts in gas emissions can indicate heightened volcanic activity, prompting researchers to closely monitor the situation and assess the potential risks. This intriguing discovery of ancient helium gas has sparked intense interest and speculation among scientists as they grapple with the potential implications for the park's future. But before we unravel the potential consequences of this discovery, let's continue our exploration of the volcanic processes and monitoring methods that shed light on the mysteries beneath the Earth's surface. Another crucial aspect of monitoring Yellowstone's volcanic activity involves tracking temperature changes. As magma rises towards the surface, it heats the surrounding rock and water, 
These temperature fluctuations can serve as valuable indicators of what lies beneath the Earth's crust. Thermal cameras and other sensors play a crucial role in capturing these temperature changes and providing scientists with essential data. By analyzing temperature patterns and deviations from the norm, researchers can gain insights into the movement and behavior of magma. As magma chambers grow and pressure increases, the surrounding temperatures respond accordingly. These subtle thermal shifts can provide crucial information for assessing the potential for an eruption and its scale. Returning to the mystery of ancient helium, scientists are still piecing together the puzzle of how this gas has been preserved and trapped beneath the Earth's surface for millions of years. The presence of helium-3 and helium-4, with their distinct origins and behaviors, adds complexity to the narrative. Helium-3 suggests a direct path from the mantle to the surface, while helium-4 has taken a more convoluted route. The quantities of helium-4 emitted from Yellowstone have surprised researchers, exceeding levels found in other areas by a significant margin. This revelation challenges previous assumptions about helium-4 production, raising questions about its sources and triggers. The interaction between helium-4 and the ancient crust's uranium content has set off a chain reaction that could potentially alter the region's geological landscape. Unearthing the ancient crust dating back over 2.5 billion years has offered a glimpse into the geological history of Yellowstone. The discovery of uranium and other radioactive elements within this crust has contributed to the understanding of the processes that have shaped the region over eons. The cataclysmic interaction between the Yellowstone hotspot and the ancient crust has released helium-4, adding a layer of complexity to the story. The revelation illuminates both the park's geological history and the ever-changing nature of Earth's surface. Distant past events impact the present, vital for predicting and managing hazards. The question for knowledge propels investigations into these mysteries, uncovering our planet's volatile essence. Deeper within Yellowstone's enigma, nature's intricate systems emerge. Seismic activity, temperature shifts, gas emissions, ancient helium gas, all contribute to understanding cataclysmic potential. Scientists vigilantly monitor these signs, seeking patterns that may herald an eruption. From seismic shifts to ancient helium's revelation, each discovery deepens our grasp of geological forces, unveiling a potential cataclysmic eruption not just for the park, but for the world. Imagine the edge of Yellowstone's cauldron, trembling ground, and nature's fury. Far from fiction, a supervolcano threat looms, studied diligently by scientists. The initial signs of an impending eruption often include seismic activity, as magma begins its relentless ascent toward the surface. Earthquakes and tremors increase in frequency and intensity as pressure within the magma chamber builds. These seismic events, monitored using seismometers, serve as the first indicators of the potentially catastrophic events that could follow. In the event of a supervolcano eruption, the consequences would be swift and far-reaching. The eruption would commence with a deafening roar, accompanied by a colossal plume of ash and gas soaring into the atmosphere. This ash cloud could reach altitudes of up to 30 miles, casting a dark shadow over the landscape below. Daylight would give way to darkness, plunging regions into an eerie gloom reminiscent of a solar eclipse. The ash cloud's impact wouldn't be limited to the immediate vicinity of the Yellowstone. Prevailing winds would carry the ash across vast distances, blanketing large swaths of land in a thick layer of ash. This could have severe implications for air travel as airports would be forced to shut down due to the hazardous conditions posed by the ash cloud. The volcanic eruption would also release a toxic brew of gases into the atmosphere, including sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. These gases, known for their harmful effects on human health, would pose a significant risk to anyone exposed to them. Respiratory problems, including severe breathing difficulties, could become global, further exacerbating the chaos unleashed by the eruption. The toxic gases would further contribute to the volatile climate created by the eruption. As sulfur dioxide interacts with sunlight, it can lead to the formation of aerosols that reflect sunlight away from the Earth's surface. This phenomenon could cause a temporary cooling effect known as volcanic winter, leading to lower temperatures and potential crop failures. The eruption's devastation would be compounded by the emergence of pyroclastic flows, swift-moving currents of hot ash, gas, and rock 
that race down the slopes of the volcano at speeds of up to 700 miles per hour. These lethal flows can obliterate everything in their path, obliterating forests, structures, and any signs of life. The eruption's impact would extend beyond the immediate danger zones. As ash mixes with melting snow and ice, powerful mud flows and floods would cascade through the landscape, engulfing cities, towns, and infrastructure. These torrents of destruction would further intensify the upheaval caused by the eruption. The aftermath of a supervolcano eruption at Yellowstone would extend beyond local and regional disruptions. The ash cloud's reflection of sunlight could lead to global temperature drops, triggering a volcanic winter that could last for years. Crop failures would become widespread, leading to food shortages and potential famine in various parts of the world. Mass migrations of people would ensue as communities struggle to cope with the environmental and societal upheaval. In a world interconnected by trade and communication, the ramifications of such an event would reverberate across continents. Societies would grapple with challenges ranging from resource scarcity to political instability. As the ash cloud from the supervolcano eruption blankets vast stretches of land, the environment is plunged into a state of upheaval and disarray. The repercussions of this catastrophe are not linked to the immediate blast radius, but extend globally, affecting ecosystems, weather patterns, and a delicate balance of life itself. One of the most striking consequences of a supervolcano eruption is a phenomenon known as volcanic winter. The eruption's release of massive amounts of ash and aerosols into the atmosphere can block sunlight, leading to a significant drop in global temperatures. The resulting colder climate can last for years, posing challenges to agriculture, wildlife and human societies. Crop failures become a grim reality as shorter growing seasons and reduced sunlight inhibit plant growth. That's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel.